there's loads of stories, not all of them are funny. I mean, uh, Prequel, for example, and loads of your music, uh, uh, describes an apocalyptic world. Uh, the plague is one of those things it deals with. Mm -hmm. But this could also be taken as a metaphor for the troubled times that we live in today, isn't it? I mean, for example, the, the country of Sweden, your home country of Sweden, uh, is not unaffected by current developments. From an outside perspective, Sweden always seemed to be this, this total perfect model sort of country where everything works, it's worked out perfectly. Mm -hmm. And now the Social Democrats have achieved the worst results in the history, I guess, and an ultra-right-wing party, the Sweden Democrats, have far better than before that, 18% or something. How is Sweden changing these days? And how much uh, is your music Political in a way, or metaphorical, obviously, but for the troubled times that we live in. I think Sweden is different from many countries in 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 certain aspects, and but then at the end of the day, I think that uh, Swedes, as a as as a as as a people, <laughs> are as human and humane as as any any other uh, any other any other folks, and um, I think that what there were certain things that I, that that made Sweden what it is. I can't say all these different things, but I know one thing is. It's a very sparsely populated country. Mm -hmm. We only have one really big city, and that's Stockholm. And up until maybe 50 years ago, we had almost no real influx of people. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to, obviously, like America, that's based on immigration and, 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 and just um, influx. Yeah. Um, so for many, many, ever since forever, basically, obviously there's been wars and there's been uh, smaller um, fusions of, 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 of people merging, but that socialism and that, that strong uh, nation of, of um, everything working, um, is based on the fact that it's up north, so it's really cold. So we had to take <laughs> care of our houses, and we uh, had to yeah. like make everything warm and dry. And the fact that we were so few, and of course, in, in modern time, where where a lot of things have changed over the last 50, 40, 30, 20 years, 10 years, I am not surprised mm -hmm. that we are not any better than any other country in, in terms of, of, of um, having to go through a phase of adjusting. Yeah. Uh, then again, one of your fellow Swedes has became a global icon for a new political movement, movement huh? Greta Thunberg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, that, I think that that is also, uh, I, uh, speaking just shooting from the hip, I think that a lot of those nature um, sort of environmentalistic sort of views is also fused by the fact that if you are from Sweden, you're close to nature in a way. Even I live in central Stockholm, very, very central. If I go 20 minutes sideways, mm. I'm in the forest. Yeah. Uh, by car, but but yeah. but but still, it's it's close to nature. It's close to. It's great right about And it, yeah. you know, just flying in from if you fly from mainland Europe, and you fly to Stockholm, what you see in most mainland Europe countries are city after city after city after city, and then it's just cultivation in between. Whereas as soon as you come to Sweden, there's just forest. It's just so. It's, it's, it's amazingly so sparsely, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. But I've, a lot of these things I've learned just because I travel so much. Have you ever thought of leaving Sweden or is that... Oh, many times. Oh, okay. <laughs> As it, hadn't it not been, had it not been for the fact that I am, I am uh, you know, married and I have a family, mm -hmm. so I have more than myself to think about, 
uh, I would have probably moved to America f six years ago, seven years ago. Yeah. What would it be, Los Angeles or New York or what would it be? LA probably, because uh, physically, I'm, a, I'm a, having spent so much time in the winter, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, well, honestly, it's, it's that my blood circulation is pretty poor. Uh, and so I, I get cold very easily. I'm very cold-blooded. Um, and uh, I noticed this minute I got to LA the first time, I was just like, ah, oh. it just made, you know, it clear, clear, cleared things out, and, and which is ironic because it's such a, dirty city, it is. Um, but it, there's something in that nature, in that vegetation, and, and that, that sort of part of the world, that warmth that makes me physically more happy. And you are in the nature areas around LA as quickly as you are in Sweden, pretty much. There are so beautiful yeah, areas much, around yeah. LA. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. But also, like, I'm, I'm a very urban person. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I grew up in, in the city and, and I love living in the city, so for me, if, if there isn't an, an X amount of record stores and, and fun things to do, I get depressed. So that's why LA is the, like the closest thing to the combination of the two. Mm -hmm. You have the warmth, you have like some sort of almost... Um, at least in Swedish standards, it's very tropical. Ah, it feels yeah. tropical yeah. because you can have a you can swim in December, yeah. um, but you also have a very big, vibrant city full of culture and and yeah, and, right. and uh, totally. blood flow. You know, totally. so yeah. maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> maybe one day. Yeah. Uh, general the. Not only the metallic, you've been touring like hell ever since the last album was released. Um, what, what are you doing on tour except from playing live? Did you already write a couple of new songs? Did you already work out concepts for our next album? What's coming up next? What should we, could we expect from I those to the next like two, one or two years? One or two years. Um, right now it's touring up until the end of the year. Mm -hmm until Christmas and uh, right now I'm in the beginning phases of um, like putting songs together and writing. I, I mean I write a lot all the time but now... Even on tour? Because a lot of mus musicians can't work on songs on tour, that's, that's most of them. It's it's a little bit more. Of, it's it's more. It's more a matter of of having the discipline of, of mm -hmm. sitting down. You get the idea for a song. I can get that anywhere. Of course, um, under the shower. It's a classic. Huh? <laughs> absolutely. Oh, I've arranged and, and figured out a lot of a lot of songs in the shower. Um, but you, at least how I work is that over the course of a year or two, I just have a lot of ideas put into this big basket of, of ideas, basically. Mm -hmm. And that is phrases, uh, riffs, ideas, like this little beat, there, there's like things like that. And all of them are placed in this basket as a little seed that as soon as you pour water on it, it can sort of erupt into this song, uh, but then, at, after a year, I need to go into the studio and I need to like pour water on it yeah. and see what happens. And that is hard to do on tour. But I mean, I was just in the studio oh, awesome. a couple of days here, days ago and, and wrote a song for the next album. Oh, okay. So it's it happens and, and right about now is the time when I s start doing that. Do you already have a, an idea sound-wise or how it, how it would be or is that too early to speak about? Um, I have pretty much the concept of the record mm -hmm. done and uh, tons of titles, tons of ideas and, and also a lot of things that I want to perfect that I think that we haven't done before. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel very influ like very inspired to uh, you know come come January, I'm gonna go into the studio. So, is it going to be a Cardinal copy album again, or <laughs> are you no? He's done after this <laughs> record. Someone new is just around the corner. I just know that he will not bear the name Cardinal Copia. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, we're looking forward. Is there a general, I mean, is there a natural end to the ghost concept someday? Do, 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 or do you have any idea about that? Have you ever thought of making something completely different one day? Musically, obviously, but... Or do you think there's so much more to do with ghosts and so many more stories to tell? Uh, a few years ago, I couldn't fathom making more than three records. Um, now we're closing in on the fifth. Um, I think that there are... I've, for myself, I've managed to see... I've found a way to explain other things with this lingo. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't necessarily, I mean, the songs aren't necessarily about Satan anymore. <laughs> it's, it's, it's about all these, these different things. And as you said, now we are in a very, very, for lack of a better word, I guess, we're an interesting, we are in an interesting point of, in time mm -hmm. where it feels like it could potentially be apocalyptical, yeah. apocalyptic, and I have a feeling that the, the mankind has somewhere there is a will to do good. Individually, we have a hard time to, to do good. We want to do good, but we ha have a hard time doing it because there are always individual needs and things that will poke on our, our egotism that will dilute our ways. Um, but I have a feeling that all these things that, goes on, that, that are, are currently polluting what we see um, I believe that there is a, is a way out of that. I, I believe that this is a phase that we will look back on this 50 years from now as something of this time. You are as such an optimistic. Huh? Salvation is an aspect uh, of your music too. Huh? In the end, it's, there's... Absolutely. It's, it's, not, it's not hopeless. It's not hopeless, ghost music. It's not... It's not uh... You have to remember that the world has seen many apocalypse apocalyptic moments. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know the purity. Um Because... Um, just imagine being a resident here in Berlin yeah, in course. April Obviously. 1945. Yeah. That must have felt like this was the end, end of, of the, the world. world. Absolutely. And um, the problem is that maybe the end of the world or the, the, the prosper of the world continuing might not be for exactly 100% of everyone. That's the, that's the problem. That's the sad bit. That's, but I believe, and I, I, I um, yes, I am an optimism, uh, optimist in one way, even though I am a misanthropical hater of mankind because it's so <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, if, but I'm also schizophrenic, so it's like you have to remember that when you, when you talk to me. Um, so it's, uh, I, I do believe that there is, a, uh, there is some bigger um, that hopefully uh, you know, we'll get to see in our lifetime we come to a, a new period of time where we can look back on this the same way that we can look back on Second World War. Tobias, thank you very much for the interview. Have fun playing with Metallica tomorrow and we are looking forward for the new Ghost Records, hopefully pretty soon. Hopefully, yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. <laughs> Bye.